Hey everyone, this is Martin. Shelly is behind the camera today. And uh, we are getting ready to put some cement in the ground over here where our first little building is going to be. And that building is going to be the one that will house some of our off-grid generator, uh, compressor, um, solar-powered battery charging station and things like that. And uh, just so that you can see, we're actually officially off-grid today. That's what we're going to be running everything with. It's a Predator 4000 generator and I've owned a couple of different Predator generators in the past. They've been really good. Um, and uh, this one is a little smaller, but uh, it still I think is going to uh, do the job okay for us. So we'll see if we can get this thing started. Here's the moment of truth. It works. We are using just a slightly different formula than the one that's on the screen. Um, our crushed rock includes a lot of fine sand in it uh, because it's a road base rock and so uh, there's a lot of sand already in it. So we're uh, increasing the crushed rock to five parts and the sand to one part and then one part of Portland cement and it's given us roughly the same mixture as the 421 formula would give us. This is our off-grid water source too. It's our plumbing ditch. We have a spring and it fills the water up. So we ran into a couple of issues we weren't expecting. The first one was that the base of the cement mixture was a little bit too wide to get close enough to the forms to be able to just dump it in the forms and the forms are pretty narrow so we had to resort to shoveling it out of the cement mixer into the forms which was not that big of a deal but if we were to do it again we would probably build some kind of a little plywood chute uh, to direct the cement down into the forms. I suppose another question we should try to answer with this is why are we doing it in the first place? And part of it is because the project is small enough that it wouldn't justify trying to bring a cement truck in to do and where we're located you wouldn't be able to get a cement truck in there anyway. But more importantly it's I guess to prove to ourselves and maybe to others that uh, a couple of 60 plus year olds can actually do a project like this and get it done and have a good product when the whole thing is complete. Yes, and we did have an incident with the cement mixer. And after watching the video, I believe it was probably my fault. This is my impromptu rebar bender. 